treat me like the OG And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see I won't put no money on this shit, my niggas owe me I gotta be single for a while, you take control What's up Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Sacred Healing TV I am here to do a energy reading for you all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and also check out my description down below. Let's just jump right into y'all messages. So I'm going to do the energy of the person that you're dealing with or whoever is currently thinking about you or in your energy at this time. And this is your energy here at the bottom. So I will clarify each card. Somebody is thinking very heavily about you. I just want y'all to know that. This person is realizing some things in regards to who you are, what you meant to them, and they know that they weren't faithful to you, but you were always loyal to them. You held this person down, okay? I feel like this person was avoiding doing their shadow work, okay? But... They're doing this now. They're actually working on themselves. Because we also have crown chakra and we have the angel of balance. So this person is definitely going through some type of spiritual awakening. They are aware now. Their heart is being cracked open. Yeah, this their heart is being cracked open now. They're realizing some very toxic behaviors that they've had all this time. Um toxic behaviors that ruined relationships in the past trauma from childhood okay this person is definitely watching you they're spying on your social media some of them could be riding by past your house this person is watching you very heavily so um let's see what else do i get from um, in regards to this person yeah spirit is definitely the karma is is here for this person okay they're they're going through their karma um but this is going to lead them to where they need to be their personal happiness their pers their healing they're healing which is going to heal a lot of things in, the, in regards to their connections, especially in regards to you, this person is in love with you. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as the sun. You bring balance to this person's life. You balance them out. You're the only one who can tame this person. I do see a spiritual baby here. You see the baby peeking? So this is definitely a divine connection. This is spirit. Oh my gosh, y'all. I had a dream about a goldfish recently. Look at the goldfish. Babies, fertility, abundance in all of these things, uh, happiness. I see birds. Some of you could have birds as messengers. So pay attention. When you see a bird, make sure that you look up the meaning of the bird, the spiritual meaning of the bird. Some of you are very artistic. You're a painter, you're a writer, you're very creative. Some of you, this may not be a child. This could be you just being very creative at this time. This top part is supposed to be about this person, but this is what I'm getting from these messages. So just bear with me, y'all. This is, okay, this is how this person views you. You're very, very nurturing. Some of you could be connected to the goddesses. What's her name? Yaya? Yamaya? Oshun? The goddess of water is what I heard. You have very sacred energy. This person views you as everything. Yeah, there's some change coming in this, this relationship. This is divinely, this is being divinely orchestrated is what I heard. I already know what y'all gonna say. You don't want to hear this about this person, okay? I do see that this person is coming back changed. So it is totally up to you, of course, on 
how you're going to handle this situation. But I do see that this, this change is here with this person. Um, some of you could be seeing rainbows. These birds are very significant. There's a lot of growth about to take place in your life. A lot of... A lot of growth prosperity okay let me let me get to y'all because i'm still on this top row and with these cards y'all i only use them to connect with you all but i don't need them it's just kind of of a way to say to show you something tangible you know once i start channeling i don't remember everything so i might have to go back and watch this video <laughs> But anyways, um, all right, Spirit, let's keep going. So with you, Aquarius, we have men holding a heart. Flip the rose on how it goes for you. If you are a feminine watching this, okay, you are the one holding this heart. You are very loving, like I said. You're very nurturing. You hold the key to life. You're very passionate about what you do, whatever you put your hands to, anything in regards to your life. Y'all have been very patient with some things here, your love life, your money. I do see that you are also ascending at this time. You're seeing things for what they are. You've always been this high priestess. You've already predicted things that were going to happen. You're very strategic. I do see firm foundation here. And I also see these pillars. Is that what they're called? Which is an, it, it also represents firm foundations. So you're being very strategic about what you're building. Some of you are keeping this quiet, keeping it to yourself. But whatever it is that you're doing is going to bring you a lot of stability. You are already stable, but this is going to increase it even more. Spirit, I just heard spirit is opening this door for you. Spirit is shining the light up on you. Some of you could have been hidden, but now you're coming into the limelight. That's what I heard. Y'all, excuse me, okay? <laughs> yes, but this is what spirit is wanting you to focus on. Focus on rebuilding. Taking back your power. Focusing on your own happiness. And everything else will flow to you. Now, all of these cards came out. When I asked Spirit, what is the potential the potential outcome? Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you are a healer. You are gifted with this. To heal, help others to heal. Some of you could be into Reiki. You bring a lot of balance into people's lives. Spirit is also bringing this balance back into your life, balance into this connection, balance into whatever was taken from you, okay? Because you're in this energy of appreciation. A lot of you have detached from what no longer serves you. Yeah, the mask has come off from the veil the veil has been lifted so you can see everything for what it truly is and now you're taking action towards what makes you happy whatever that you've been asking for is coming in really quick whatever you've been manifesting this full moon is going to be very significant to some of you there's a full moon coming up on the 7th which is that wednesday it's going to be very significant to a lot of you so take advantage of it Release what no longer serves you so that this new can come in for you. This new relationship can come in for you. For some of you who are not wanting this old connection, there is a new love here for you. Somebody who's going to balance you out. Somebody who's going to take care of you. You're not going to have to ask for much. You, you can sit pretty. You can be in your divine feminine energy. You no longer have to be so masculine anymore. You can actually sit in this energy. You're going to be taken care of. Well taken care of is what I heard. Yeah, these contracts here. Contracts are endings. Cycles are ending. Divine justice is here. Because again, you had a lot of patience. Is there anything that you want me to clarify? Divine? Okay, these two cards came out. 
which is the Queen of Pentacles and also the Queen of Swords. This is your energy. You're giving to yourself. You don't give a damn about nobody else and what they got going on. And it ain't got shit to do with you. That's, that's what y'all said, okay? You are protecting what is yours. You are protecting your abundance. You are protecting your heart. And you're not just giving it away to anybody. This is you, Aquarius. This is your energy. You don't give a damn right now, period. You're tired of it. You got your sword and you're ready to cut anybody off. They try to cross you. Because you are in this energy of abundance right now. Prosperity. I see, I, I'm seeing a lot of money here. Money coming from all avenues. You're very balanced. I'm telling y'all, somebody is connected. I'm not going to say somebody. I'm just saying this is a divine goddess. I'm looking at this crown here. And look, she has one on her head too. Y'all are divine. <laughs> y'all are some divine feminists. Yeah, look, you're manifesting. You're manifesting. Look, another queen of wands. This is, um, wands is about action. So you're taking action towards whatever makes you happy. And that cat right there is just letting you know that you're divinely protected. You have nothing to worry about. Nobody's going to steal your divine inheritance. But spirit wants you to hold on tight to your stuff. This is not for everybody. This is only for you. So give to yourself. This is your reward for all of the trials and tribulations that you went through. Yeah. Anything else you want me to clarify? What do you want me to clarify, Divine? Okay, they don't want me to use these cards, but they want me to show you this. <laughs> Whatever you walked away from. was meant to happen because whatever seeds that you planted is now growing you're able to reap your harvest okay you want me to use these cards in regards to this person look this it came out in reverse okay but it says i was blind but now i see it's in reverse because this person sees it now. They see it. This says, I'm afraid of love, but it came out in reverse. This person is no longer afraid of love, y'all. But they were playing mind games before. They were playing mind games. You were dealing with the player. And it all stemmed from their childhood. Yeah, they were dealing with some, some holes. Straight up. Okay. Give me some advice. I'm curious. It says, take your ass outside and talk to them plants. <laughs> yes, indeed. Y'all, I made these cards. I will be selling them soon. It says, keep that same fucking energy. That's what y'all telling people to get out your face. Some of you have been dealing with some trifling ass friends and family, but y'all already cut these people off, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you're about to be the center of attention. It says, we finna switch up the game on your haters. Big surprise coming. Boom. And also remember to respond with love because they hate this shit. All right, so that's all I have for y'all, Aquarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace.